Welcome to your Daily Dose. My name is Robert. My pal Susan's in Molokai, but I've got another friend from across the world. This is Matt Eagles over in the UK. Where, where exactly in the UK are you, Matt? Hi, Robert. Well, I'm in a beautiful part of the world called Cheshire. Okay. It sits nicely between Liverpool and Manchester. Wonderful, um, wonderful. And it's very flat, but it's beautiful. Now, Matt, your story is incredibly unique uh and i don't know worldwide how many people know that your diagnosis came to you when you were seven years old yes it was actually on my seventh birthday 1975 i mean most most kids that age get a bike or but i got a parkinson's diagnosis and that just sorry go on no just saying medically that that i mean do you know i mean were you one of the earliest ever diagnosed in medical history do you know, I think it was pure, pure luck than judgment. Um, I only actually found out in my by my medical notes that was the date of diagnosis, because I've gone back to, to find my digital health records, and it says on for the first mention of Parkinson's is actually on my seventh birthday. <sighs> Yeah, and, and doctors must have been trying to scratch off everything else they could imagine because who's going to diagnose a seven-year-old with Parkinson's? That just exactly. I mean, they thought at first. I mean, my first symptoms were like a loss of balance. I couldn't stand up straight. I had a pain in my shoulder, mm. more or less in my trapezius muscle, and I used to, I used to walk on my tiptoes. And I, I also used to, I used to call, I now call it my um, dinosaur hand or T-Rex hand, because one of my arms used to go like that. So you shouldn't call it a T-Rex hand. But no, it's very, and I think um, because it was so rare, I spent a lot of time undergoing tests for juvenile arthritis, for brain tumours and all kinds of things. But they all proved inconclusive. Now, all I wanted to do, really, Robert, was be out playing with my friends. You know, that, and yeah, during the weeks of the summer, I remember 1977 in particular, I spent the whole, I think they were, they, we're trying to prove that it wasn't Parkinson's. Um, and I never remember them saying to me because I I wasn't interested in what it was. I just wanted it to go away. The idea as a young person in particular to think of something as chronic, to think of something as with you for the rest of your life, that concept, I mean, what, what does the rest of your life mean to you as a seven, 10, 12 year old, right? I mean, it's such a big future potentially at that point that, I mean, did, when did it sink in to go, oh, this is gonna be with me forever? Do you know, it never, I don't think it has, I don't think it ever has. Yeah. And that's the beauty of it. I've just, I just go from day to day, yeah. enjoying the days as they are. And I don't think I've ever stopped to contemplate that yes, ultimately this this will be the 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 thing that I'll live with for the rest of my life. I, it's something I've not really tackled, and I think if I, I know that might sound very strange after fifty odd years, but it really isn't. I don't regard it. I think everybody has things to deal with in their life and I I faced it and myself and many other people with Parkinson's I see it's just different challenges every day I don't regard myself as being ill unless I am do you know what I mean it's just the way I can always remember being yeah. <laughs> so and I've also found out which which helps that being down and feeling sorry for yourself, there's you absolutely no good at all. Nobody talks to you, nobody communicates with you. But if you're happy and smiley and positive, people engage with you. People want to be with you because you make them laugh. Or 
I don't take myself too seriously, Robert. I really don't. Um, you do a beautiful job, Matt, and, and we're going to come back and talk more about this because your attitude, which is pervasive, and those who have watched this are smiling, I'm sure. We're going to talk about how you live positively with Parkinson's because it certainly is a choice, okay? So we'll see oh, you on yeah. the next Daily Dose. Hang tight.